This is my Le Q bread maker. Makes it easy to mix the dough, do the stretch and folds all in one container. I keep a jar with water so I can wet my hands, which makes the stretching and folding a lot easier. It prevents the dough from sticking to my hands. Once I've done the series of stretch and folds, I then put the dough on my board and shape it before putting it into the refrigerator. Here I use a bit of flour on the dough as well as my hands and the bend scraper to ensure that it's not stuck to the board. Once it's shaped, I then put the dough back into the liqueur bread maker and that goes into the fridge with a plastic bag and it sits in the fridge overnight. In the morning, I take it out. In the morning, after the dough has bulk fermented overnight in the fridge, I decided I was going to top this loaf with oatmeal. So I spritz it with some water to give the oatmeal something to stick to. And that makes it look healthy. <laughs> After topping it with the oatmeal, I spritz the blade with some water so it doesn't stick to the dough. And then I proceed to score the top of the loaf. This is where it would hopefully, or the water would escape. The liqueur then closes on itself, which is pretty cool. It will keep some of that steam in there. In addition, one of my tricks is that I would also pour water into a pan. Now I only have a Breville Smart oven here, so it's pretty small in the oven, so it fits the liqueur pretty good. And once it's in there, I pour hot water into the pan that was already heating in the oven, and that creates even more steam. As you can see now, there is a foil over the liqueur. I do this with just about all of my loaves. I tent them with foil to ensure that they don't get too dark before they are fully cooked inside. This loaf is looking pretty good right now. I'd like to get some more color on the bottom as well as the top. So I've removed it from the liqueur. I'm also going to remove the pan of water because I don't need it to be steaming anymore and I would like the bottom to get darker and a little bit more crusty. Leaving the pan in there 
would keep water steaming and leave the bottom softer than I want it to be. The liqueur has a max temperature of 435 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's what my oven is set at. Once I've removed it, I'm also going to now turn down the oven to 400 degrees so that it doesn't get too dark too fast. It's been a few minutes now and I'm going to check the temperature of the loaf to see if it's ready. Generally, sourdough bakes to about 210 degrees Fahrenheit. So I use uh, my meat thermometer, which I don't always use for meat, <laughs> to check the temperature. And it's actually pretty much spot on, so time to remove from the oven. I really like the color of this bread. The crust isn't too hard that it's hard to eat. And the rice was really pretty nice as well and not gummy inside. I had some home baked ham so it made for a really good ham sandwich.